The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Lieutenant Colonel Terry Lakin discusses issues concerning the trial, his imprisonment and release, his future, his book, and the future of our country. In 2010, Lieutenant Colonel Terry Lakin, a highly decorated Army doctor, invited his own court-martial in the hope that the facts concerning constitutional eligibility for the office of the President would be forthcoming. Instead, he was denied all discovery and sentenced to six months in Fort Leavenworth with loss of his pay, his pension, and a discharge from the Army. In this video, he shares some of his thoughts about the future of our country. Some people talk about the birther issue, if you want to call it that, as being an issue about racism. I can tell you it's not that. It's the issue is about our Constitution. I've talked to many people of all different races, and it's when they know the issue, it's about the Constitution, and it's about telling the truth. That, I think, is the most paramount thing for our country, is adhering to the Constitution and going back to our truthful values. Some people have talked about the issue and that, that I blame Obama or I blame other people for the outcome of my court-martial or my actions. Rest assured, I, I don't hold any animosity or blame toward anybody. This is a decision that I made. It took me many months to several years to reach this decision, but I felt that I had tried to exhaust my regular avenues as quietly and as anonymous, anonymously as I could through the military channels, but I just found that there was no process that could address this issue, and I believe the issue needs to be answered by somebody. Throughout those many months and, and almost two years of trying to ask for answers, I was just astonished that no one is standing up to answer this question. I believe that Congress should take the lead on this, and I believe that uh, the Supreme Court needs to weigh in on this also. If things need to be defined, they need to define them. We need to assure that this doesn't happen again. So I had about two weeks left in my sentence at Fort Leavenworth when I was called out of my cell by fellow inmates to look at this press conference that President Obama was having. At this press conference, President Obama was finally releasing a long-form birth certificate, a birth certificate that apparently did not exist or he was not able to obtain over two years ago. I do hope that there will be some validation of this because all I've seen is a, an electronic uh, PDF file of this. I think that needs to be validated and I believe the American public deserves a good answer about this. A lot of people after the release of this long birth certificate say, oh, don't you feel stupid now or look at the birthers now, but people forget. Before this release of this long birth certificate, we had very little to nothing. Um, now we have a little something to start validating. I truly believe this is still an incredible issue that needs to be answered. Um, I, I put myself out in front to uh, try and solve this issue when I didn't think that other branches of government were looking into this appropriately. And I'm still looking at other options to move forward. But the other options certainly are limited after, after my uh, court-martial and my continued ties with the military. Our country is dealing with a lot of constitutional issues right now. But this eligibility issue, I believe, is simple and needs to be solved. We, are, we as a country need to determine whether we're going to continue to follow our Constitution and the laws associated with it, or whether we're going to keep eroding and eroding away at it until our Constitution has little to no value anymore. I still continue to believe that this issue needs to be resolved, and it could be resolved quickly and easily. Let's have some validation of the uh, long form that was released and let us uh, get back to our Constitution and the values that are associated with it. The Trust has been able to help us out with family expenses and also some reimbursement of my legal fees that I've had in the past and will have in the future with my appeal. The Trust has also been able to keep this issue 
out in the public, and I believe that that is an important area for it to be. This issue does need to be resolved, and the trust has helped out with that. Our, our vigilant citizens need to be aware of this situation, know about the importance of it, and they need to hold the media accountable to investigate this properly and inform them. Several people have suggested I run for office, even president. While I appreciate that, right now I am not you know, qualified, nor do I, had I ever planned on running for office. Certainly, perhaps in the future, maybe I would run for a local or state uh, political office, and that does interest me in the future, but in the present time frame, no. I need to take care of my family, and although I never intended to write a book, and never thought that I would have anything written about me, except for short stories by my children, um, I was approached by a nationally renowned author who offered to help me out with a, a book, and it's actually been very fun. Uh, we've gotten through the first chapter, and the book is going to have some exciting things to it. We're going to have two-page vignettes on many of the people that have been involved in, in my life and in this uh, eligibility issue. Uh, we may have some chapters on the cartoons and, and other things that have happened along the way. Uh, I, the chapter with the vignettes on people, I think it's going to be very exciting to learn about some of the movers and the shakers that have uh, done good things in this uh, eligibility issue. I also look forward to a little section in the book that will address our founding fathers and the development of our Constitution and the Christian values that are associated with it. The book will also have a section on essays with key issues about an officer's oath, patriotism, our founding fathers, and the Constitution and the development of our Constitution. The people helping me out with the book assure me that I'll at least sell one copy, and that'll be to my mother. But I'm hoping that several others will at least buy a copy also. Some people still question whether I acted upon my own or whether I was a pawn of some other people's manipulation. Rest assured, I'm not. I'm a quiet, introspective person. This is a hard decision. I was willing to take the consequences because I didn't think that I was left with any other choices. After trying to address this issue with very little to no help for a year and a half to two years, trying to seek out legal advice, trying to seek out congressional advice, and trying to seek out advice or resolutions from my leaders, it left me with uh, the options that were not very good, regardless of what I chose. So I believed I was choosing the harder right to question orders that may possibly be given by an ineligible president or commander-in-chief. Well, of course it goes without saying that it's great to be back home. Although I miss some of the fellow inmates that I met in prison, you know, being back with family, neighbors, friends, is just incredible. Um, truly enjoy being with the family again and making up for some lost time. Uh, you know, I have a daughter that's just totally engrossed in her gymnastics and her studies and going to baseball games with my, my oldest son and just wrestling around with my three-year-old. Uh, we had an incredible wrestling match last night. The three of them almost beat me, but I still have some old wrestling moves left. Um, I do miss some of my fellow inmates from prison. I did get a little word that they were they're doing well. They're having an incredible increase in attendance at church again. The chapel experience in the prison was remarkable and had great presentation of the gospel at, at Fort Leavenworth. And we found a local church. The um, local church has welcomed us uh, very warmly and having the family be exposed to clear message of the gospel at this new church has been wonderful too. I am looking forward to continuing my Christian faith and looking at other ways to um, perhaps do outreach programs for military inmates or 
some other endeavors that I believe would be a, a great benefit to our country and, and to the Christian faith. I would like to thank all the supporters out there, and I fall short of thanking them personally. I've tried to call several and write uh, return letters to many, but I know that I'm falling very, very short of that. The support that was given to me in prison and that continues has just been extremely uplifting to myself and to my family. In fact, so many of those letters were very supportive and so strongly written that we are considering taking perhaps a several, maybe even a hundred of these incredible letters. And don't worry, we'll block your names off, but compiling those letters and sending them off to Congress and letting Congress know how many of these people feel about this issue, about the eligibility and supporting our Constitution. I truly wish to thank all the supporters out there, both in the past and the present. And as we look at future events, please check out the Terry Lake and Action Fund website. That'll keep you update on, updated on any radio or future endeavors that we're looking at. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. I hope this has answered some of your questions. And you know, please continue supporting the Constitution. The truth matters and the Constitution matters. God bless you. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.